By 1901, the railway line reached Port Florence, which is the current Kisumu. That was the intention of by the British then. Uh, getting to Kisumu, which is the, uh, on the shores of Lake Victoria, so that they could also get into Uganda and maybe uh, get, take control of the source of the Nile. Lake, Lake Victoria is the source of Nile. Eh? Then they can control, I think, the better, uh, the better part of Africa. Setting foot on the African continent, the settlers aspired to turn the vast fertile land of Kenya into white man's paradise. In the 1930s and 1940s, a storm of resistance was brewing among local communities who had been stripped of lands. On December 12, 1963, Kenya became fully independent from colonial rule. The wave of decolonization swept across Africa in the 1950s and 1960s, leading to the independence of some 30 African countries. The legacy of colonial economy continued to constrain Kenya's development for decades. Here we have a, an eight, a prototype of 87 class locomotive, which was the, the first, very fast locomotive a diesel electric locomotives made by the British, but they have since now become obsolete because uh, uh, they are quite old. 